Well, good Saturday evening. It's time for our tropical update. Of course, all eyes now on intensifying Hurricane Melissa. And here's what our current satellite imagery is of Melissa. Definitely has that hurricane look to it. I think if you look here very closely, it's trying to form its eye. Of course, we've been watching Melissa has been moving very slow, only west at three miles per hour, but max winds at 100 miles per hour, and it is going to continue to strengthen over the next couple of days. Here's what the current path is of Melissa as it is going right towards Jamaica, according to the National Hurricane Center. Hurricane warnings are into effect, and hurricane and tropical storm watches are also into effect for some of the surrounding uh, countries and islands. But this is what the latest track is. As you look at Melissa, it's still going to intensify into a Category 4 and then a Category 5 here at 160 miles per hour before making landfall at Jamaica. Moving through Jamaica, keeping its hurricane status, major hurricane status that is, as it now heads towards southeastern portions of Cuba and then continuing its track and then by the middle of next week. That's when Melissa is going to move on out because the cold front is going to pick it up and move it out towards the Atlantic Ocean. So, of course, the strong winds already with Melissa that you've already just seen. And now we're going to be watching out for very heavy rainfall and very high amounts of rainfall with Hurricane Melissa. So, as of right now, Sunday morning, this is what it is already predicting. Then, as we continue through, as what our model is predicting, those heavier rainfall rates getting above 10 inches of rainfall and just off into the ocean you can see it there 53 inches out there in the Caribbean Sea but as it continues this path is still going to be dumping a lot of rainfall across portions of the Caribbean islands so definitely plans for Jamaica are a no-go and plans towards Haiti and I'd say even eastern Cuba are also a no-go for this upcoming week but of course we're going to continue to attract Melissa for the next couple of days. But for now, I'm meteorologist Sam Parker, WKRG News 5.